What is up guys, Mitch 42 here, and welcome to another Zooniverse discussion video. Today we're going to be talking about the Jump Festa trailer, some of the achievements, which will actually all be down below, so we're not going to really talk about them. <laughs> um, they're all in the description, this is also thanks to RhymeStyle for putting it in his description. And make sure to go over to his channel and subscribe, because he does a bunch of Zooniverse content and stuff like that, so make sure to go check him out. And uh, also, as always, the gameplay in the background is by Anime Games Online. So make sure to check him out. He's a really, really awesome guy. He's really, really awesome. I can't believe he gets like all this footage and stuff. So it's really, really cool. Make sure to go check him out. But anyway, so as I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about Jump Festa. Uh, achievements are down below. I'm gonna be talking about different, a couple other things as well. So to first start off, we're gonna be starting off with the mentors. We have finally been announced what mentors there are in the game. So so far, there is uh, Goku, Piccolo. Krillin, Vegeta, Gohan, and Videl, which are actually a duo, which I actually really like. Um, Ginyu, Freezer, um, Frieza, oh, Frieza, sorry. It says Freezer because Japan, never mind. Frieza, uh, number 18, Cell, Hercules, Gotenks, and Beerus. Those are all the masters in the game. Freezer confused me because I know in Japan that it's spelled differently, so it confused the crap out of me, I'm sorry. But anyway, <laughs> um, so that way you guys know that those are all the mentors, and as I said, um, they all the achievements are down below. So if you want to go check out like achievements slash trophies, you know, whatever, um, Xbox or PS4, three, whatever, um, all those are down below. So other than that, we're gonna be talking about the Jump Festa trailer. So it was actually in English, which was really flipping nice. So we got to see some of the voices in English uh, dub now, which was great. Um, the trailer looked really, really cool, and it did explain a crap ton about the story. Because that's the one thing everybody's really questioning, is, if, is the story gonna be good? Since they're changing everything in Dragon Ball Z, since the timelines are being altered by, uh, Mira and Toa, which I do have to say, they look really, really cool. Um, animated. They look really, really cool. Um, and this is my own opinion, but goddamn, that trailer was awesome. <laughs> I love that trailer, it was really, really cool. We got to see how villainous Toa and Mira are, and we got to see them actually controlling some of the people. They took control of Frieza, Cell, um, Gohan, uh, Team Gohan, Piccolo, Hercule, um, who else? I'm trying to think of other people that they took over. They also took control of Vegeta, and I believe Great Ed Vegeta as well. Um, who else did they take over? Oh, they took over Beerus, which scared the crap out of me. I was like, if he's under their control, we're fucked. <laughs> I was like, that's it, we're dead. <laughs> we're all dead. Forget it, we're done. I li I'm leaving. Bye. I'm gone. See you later. Bye. All right, I'm back. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So it actually seems that we're gonna be going from the Saiyan Saga all the way to the Battle of Gods, which is really, really cool, because I did not expect that. I thought that they were gonna go from just the Saiyans all the way to the end of the Majin Buu Saga. I didn't think we we're actually gonna go one step further and actually head into the uh, God Saga. So that was really cool, and I really didn't expect that. Um, now, other things that people probably wanna know is like, since all these mentors are now confirmed, because these are all the mentors, I know at the beginning I said that these are the ones that are so far confirmed, but these are actually all of them that are confirmed at, uh, that are like in the game. Like these are the ones that you can train under. Um, now people are probably wondering like, how do you get other moves like Big Bang Kamehameha and like other moves that you can't get from these masters? My thought is that in the beta, or my idea, is that in the beta, you, when you played, um, you could unlock moves by getting them in battles as materials, stuff like that. You, like, you had a very rare chance of getting certain things, like Super Saiyan armor. I'm um, Super Saiyan. Saiyan armor. Or, you know, like, materials, or capsules, or skills, and stuff like that. So, that's probably how you're gonna unlock them, but not just through, like, you know, one-on-one -on -one fights. Probably through parallel quests, like they did in the beta. So, that would make a lot of sense. And also, you can buy them at the stores as well. They do have moves at the stores that you can buy and purchase along with, you know, capsules and clothing and stuff like that. So, there's a lot of cool things. Um, now, there's, there's so much to talk about. I mean, it's freaking ridiculous. Now, we also saw at Jump Festa that we got to see some more gameplay. Holy crap, did this look smooth as hell. I can't... I'm so pumped right now. You, you could tell by the way I'm acting. Like, I'm screwed up my words, but I'm really, really excited. Because we got to see Android 17 fighting Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We got to see Super Saiyan God Goku fighting Beerus. And we got to see Beerus fighting Whis. Now, God. Oh, I'm speechless. It looked so good. I'm saying this right now. This could be the best Dragon Ball Z game we have ever gotten. Because this looks really good. The gameplay was so smooth. The way that you could rack up combos. Like we saw with, and, uh, with uh, Android 17, Super 17. 
um, we saw when he was shooting the uh, beams that he could like use his super long legs to rack up some combos, and it was really, really nice. And there was some more destruction that we got to see, even though it was not permanent, as we saw when Super Saiyan God Goku was fighting uh, Beerus in the cave, like they fought in the movie, when they were pushing each other, shooting beams, they were blowing up the cave, like, I guess, pillars or whatever you want to call it, lagmites. They were destroying those in the background. So there still is destruction. I mean, it may not be permanent destruction, like with our Kamamehas, you know, hitting the ground and, you know, making a hole. But hey, there's still destruction. I like it. I think it's cool. I wasn't, you know, upset when they said, you know, not... Everything is destructible like when I shoot a comic onto the grass not gonna leave a hole, but that's fine I'm okay with it. The game looks amazing so far, and I really just can't wait We got two more months till this game comes out. Ah, oh, so so joyful um, So I'm trying to think what else is there to talk about because <laughs> I think I've been rambling on um, So we had the jump festa um, So we got to see uh, the story boat actually which I was sort of talking about but then got rambled on to other things and then jump back um, So story boat, as I mentioned they were taking control of people so in the story mode, we saw Piccolo literally over uh, Goten and Trunks completely, like, beaten up. So they took control of Piccolo and probably he beat the crap out of them. <laughs> um, so that might be in most likely the Boo Saga when they try to become Gotenks. Now there were some other things that were pretty cool to indicate as well. Like with uh, Piccolo getting killed. Um, but it looked like in a different way than he was originally supposed to get killed. So he, he still died, but it was like in a different way. And you also were seen fighting Frieza, and you got to see Gohan and uh, Krillin collecting the Namekian Dragon Balls in what seemed to look like Frieza's spaceship, which I believe is a stage, which should be really cool to be playing on, because that spaceship is flipping huge. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and we got to see a lot more stages, and it was just it was just really good. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, go check it out. Um, we got to see how Toa and Mira act. I really, really like Toa. I really like her character. And I think her voice is hot. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that right now. I think I think she has a really nice voice for her character. Um, if, if only you weren't evil. <laughs> if only you weren't evil, Toa. If only you weren't evil. Um, and I wouldn't have to kick your ass. I mean, come on. Um, so there's also, in the achievements, uh, some sagas that we see. So there's the Saga of Saiyans. Um, the back saga of Saiyans, there's also a prologue, the Ginyu saga, which was something we saw in the trailer. Um, we see actually Vegeta doing one of the uh, poses with the whole Ginyu force, so maybe he actually joins up with them and fights with them against you guys by maybe either uh, Toa and Mir maybe like messing up his mind a little bit, making them join them, or maybe he just is like, screw you guys, I'm joining them to collect the Dragon Ball, so I, I don't know. Um, we also have the Frieza saga, the Cell saga, the Android saga that is, I believe, in the future with Trunks? I, I don't know, because it's before the Cell Saga, unless they screw that up. Um, there's also the Saga of Boo, the Saga of the God of Destruction, Beerus. There's also the Demon God, Demigra, which is a character we still don't know who the frig he is, or she, we really don't know, um, which is the person that they showed like a really long time ago, but it was a blacked out picture. People are speculating that it's maybe Toa's master or something like that. We honestly don't know, we have no clue. And then there's also the Super Saiyan Legend Saga as well. And then there's uh, one more thing that I want to actually talk about before we actually end this video. So, it seems like there's something called Endless Battles, which we see in the achievements when you look down below, trophies, whatever you want to call them, I don't care. Um, but, <laughs> there's something called Endless Battles, which really, really triggers my attention. What is Endless Battles? I'm, in, this is, as mentioned, this is going to be a theory. But I believe Endless Battles will be a game mode, a, you know, game mode that we can play, where we just go into a fight and we just continuously fight and fight wave upon wave upon wave of opponents. Which, if that is true... Oh my god, that'll be so fucking epic. Oh my god. If that is true... Like, I really hope this is true. Because I've always wanted to survive a mode in Dragon Ball. I don't know if there has ever been one. I think maybe in, like, Raging Blast or something like that. But I never played Raging Blast, so I wouldn't know. Um, but if there is a endless battle mode where we just continuously fight wave after wave of opponents, oh my god, that will make my day. Because I see this achievement, it says start of endless battles, participate seven endless battles, and then it says win seven battles, beyond dreams is another achievement. So if this is true, I will flip, because I always wanted to just continuously beat the crap out of people. <laughs> I always wanted to do that in Dragon Ball Z game, I just wanted to fight wave after wave of opponents so this is going to be really awesome that is a true game mode and if that is the actual thing i'm talking about because if my theory is correct that's going to be awesome 
so yeah that's about wraps it up so we talked about parallel quests we talked about the mentors we talked about the endless battles theory that i just mentioned we talked about toe and mira and the story mode and how it's going to be changed and stuff like that i know i didn't get full in depth with the story mode but once again you guys can go check out the trailer i'll leave a link down below and it tells you a crap ton of stuff um so make sure to go check it out the animation looks really nice for the cutscenes. Um, not only the cutscenes where it's like game type cutscene, like, you know, like not the anime animation, but the regular game mode um, cutscene looks really, really nice. And also the animation looks really, really good. And I love how uh, Trunks actually summons you as the hero. He's like, help me. And then Shenron's like, your wish is my command, basically. And bam, you arrive and you're beautiful. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's that's about it, I believe. If there's anything I mess uh, I mess up, if it's anything I miss, I see my mouth is like completely flabbergasted today. It's just messed up. Uh, if there's anything I missed, um, let me know down in the in the comments. Um, and yeah, you know, just comments away. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. If I didn't answer them here, and yeah, so that's about it, guys. Make sure to check out Rhymestyle and Anime Games down below. They're both awesome, so make sure to go check them out. They do a lot of Zooniverse and uh, Naruto as well. And yeah, that's about it, guys. This is Crazy Mitch42. Make sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment if you want any questions, or you just, uh, if I forget anything, make sure to let me know. And yeah, hit me up on Twitter if you want as well. And that's it, guys. I will see you all in another video.